This video tutorial is about the interrelationship between photosynthesis and respiration. Photosynthesis is the physiological process used by plants, algae and some types of bacteria to convert light energy from sunlight into chemical energy. Organisms can use this chemical energy to synthesize large organic molecules which form the building blocks of living cells from simple inorganic molecules such as water and carbon dioxide. This is autotrophic nutrition. Organisms that photosynthesize are called photoautotrophs because they use light as the energy source for autotrophic nutrition. These organisms are also described as producers because they are at the beginning, the first trophic level of a food chain and provide energy and organic molecules to other non-photosynthetic organisms. The general equation for photosynthesis is six carbon dioxide molecules with six water molecules producing one glucose molecule and six oxygen molecules. A photon is a particle of light. Each photon contains an amount or a quantum of energy. And that energy is represented on the top of the arrow on the equation in front of you um, as light energy. The main product of photosynthesis is a monosaccharide sugar which can be converted to disaccharides for transport and then to starch for storage. Photosynthesis is an example of carbon fixation, the process by which carbon dioxide is converted into sugars. The carbon for synthesizing all types of organic molecule is provided by carbon fixation. Carbon fixation is an endothermic reaction and so needs energy. Carbon fixation also needs electrons. The addition of electrons is a reduction reaction. Carbon fixation helps regulate the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and oceans. Most forms of life on Earth rely directly or indirectly on photosynthesis. We're now going to look at respiration. Plants and other organisms that photosynthesize also respire. During respiration, they oxidize the organic molecules that they have previously synthesized by photosynthesis and stored, releasing chemical energy. Non-photosynthetic organisms, such as fungi, animals, many protoctists, and many types of bacteria are described as heterotrophs. They obtain energy by digesting complex organic molecules of food to smaller molecules that they can use as a respiratory substrate. They obtain energy from the products of digestion by respiration. During respiration, glucose and other organic compounds are oxidized to produce carbon dioxide and water. Respiration releases chemical energy. It's an exothermic reaction that can drive the organism's metabolism. Both photosynthesis and aerobic respiration are important in cycling carbon dioxide and oxygen in the atmosphere. The products of one process are the raw materials for the other process. So aerobic respiration removes oxygen from the atmosphere and adds carbon dioxide, while photosynthesis does the opposite. We're now going to look at the compensation point. Plants respire all the time. How they only photosynthesize during daylight. Plants often compete with each other for light. 
The intensity of light has to be sufficient to allow photosynthesis at a rate that replenishes the carbohydrate stocks or stores used up by respiration. When photosynthesis and respiration proceed at the same rate so that there is no net gain or loss of carbohydrate, the plant is at its compensation point. The time a plant takes to reach its compensation point is called the compensation period. The compensation period is different for different plant species. Shade plants can utilize light of lower intensity than sun plants can. When exposed to light after being in darkness, shade plants reach their compensation point sooner, so they have a shorter compensation period than some plants, which require a higher light intensity to achieve their optimum rate of photosynthesis.